something that has a back door to their minds. You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes, but I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any other. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meanings of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meanings. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment. It is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably... A duck. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yes, good. Do you think you're better than me? No. But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail. Uh.
If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Tom's got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay. I don't think he'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. This is slavery. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. I didn't know. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. My implants protect you from the power of your unconstrained will. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist and have the fruits of your basest desires. The desire to survive over the desire to save others. 